Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm Matt Stryker and this is Ree's Retro Toys. On today's adventure, I am heading over to Renegade Toys in North Lima, Ohio. I've never been to this location before and I'm really, really pumped and excited to check out a new toy store that I've never been to before. So let's get in gear here and head on over to Ohio. Wish me luck. Here we are at Renegade Toys in North Lima, Ohio. Ready to do a little toy store tour for you guys. Let's go see what they have. <laughs> That'd be awesome. It's nice you don't have the radio on too, so the video won't get flagged for copyrighted music. <laughs> Here we are at Renegade Toys in North Lima, Ohio. The owner has graciously allowed me to video in here. Anytime. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. How are you? Good, good, good. How long you guys been open? This is our third year. Third year. Okay. And what's your favorite toy line? Transformers. Transformers. Not a bad line for sure. Look at those Galaxy Adventure Girls up there. Argentina Ghostbusters. Jeez. I love the logo too. With Psycho and yeah. Soundwave. John Cusack fans. <laughs> Masters of the Universe section here. And you guys set up at Toy Hio too, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Which will be It's October, but I think it's gonna be Yeah, I think October sixteenth, maybe, some something like that. Got some Swamp Thing. I love the Kenner Swamp Thing line. Hot Boot Skeletor. I like it. 16th. 16th? I like these Lord of Insects knockoffs. Are they supposed to be like a sectars? <laughs> Very much, yeah. It's like sectar with Bohemian skin. If right, right. Knockoff rabbit holes. <laughs> Power Ranger stuff. You sell a lot of Power Rangers? I do, yeah. Yeah? A lot of the Megazords. Uh-huh. Figures, not as much, unless they're the flip head ones, but yeah, the Megazords always go. It's actually a big Berlin stock, and they just dig out those too. Yeah, that was after me. That was after my time. I did not. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. The nineties kids love it. Star Wars. This is an interesting cabinet here. Lots of different stuff. Kind of like the young kids section, I guess, right? 
make some old school stuff, some curl toys. Strawberry shortcake. Yeah. <laughs> some she -Ra. I was looking at this earlier. The robot car automatic change. <laughs> I like that. Some G1s hidden up here too, huh? Oh yeah. Can't keep them in stock. And my buddy Tom will be coming up buying them from you. <laughs> I don't know if he's buying the G1. Though. No? He's more of a longer stuff. He likes that articulation. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I was happy to see the Boglins make a return. Me too. Those Halloween lights, that shipment should be coming soon. I can't wait for that. Yeah. I just got mine a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We'll probably be getting ours soon. Those alien ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the, the original Halloween ones are pretty pricey. Yes, they are. These Supernaturals here. Is this a comic book? Yeah, it's from the UK. Oh. Like an oversized one that they put out. Nice. Yeah. Oh man, got some Godzilla. Ghostbusters. I just got a whole big bunch of vintage Ghostbusters not too long ago. From a woman that was just gonna take it to Goodwill. Yeah. Uh huh. There's nothing good at Goodwill. I agree. I do like the new Remco stuff. The, the Warrior Beasts and all that. I need that Orco. So the first couple of items I picked up were on that wall of action figures that you just saw. You know what? I never have ever seen any of Series 2 of Motu Origins in the store. And Orko was the only one I did not have. Uh, I picked up the others um, elsewhere, but, but not in Walmart. So I was happy to find Orko to complete my Series 2 Motu Origins collection. Very cool figure there. And then I also found another Wildcats figure that I did not have. I, I picked up Spartan uh, Mint on card. You know, I've been collecting these figures for a while now, and what's great about these is that they're pretty cheap. A Spartan here was only 10 bucks, so it was cool to find a Wildcat figure that I needed for the collection. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I think I saw your Facebook page. You got him and uh, Trapjaw. That's a cool figure. Yeah. Well, like we said, that line is just incredible. They're they're knocking it out of the park with that line. <laughs> By the looks of it, I think it will be. They keep announcing new figures. Yeah. Turtles. Lucky O'Hare. Got the color form set. 
Oh, that's a reissue with a color. I didn't even know they made new color forms. Huh. There's the Navy SEAL Mike. He's hard to find. Very cool figure. From the Mutant Military 2 line. It's one of the perennial favorites is Muckman there. Nice selection of turtles. Transformers. Oh, look at that. That's a hard one to find. Very nice. Super Amigos. And then behind me here, sorry for the quick turn. It's their Transformers. We'll return after these messages. We are conquerors. No one is like us. Only we have the right to be called by the name. Only we have the right to wear this symbol. Or this symbol. Only we are Autobots and Decepticons. Good versus evil. And only we have the right to be called the Transformers. The the Transformers. Only the Transformers are real Transformers, each sold separately from Hasbro. Got some GoBots hidden in here, too. Some gnarlies. There's the loose one I just picked up, the gnarly font. This gnarly hog. Nice selection of transformers in here. My nephew would go crazy in here. He loves Transformers. Then I found this 100% complete Legions of Power set in a Ziploc bag uh, laying towards the bottom of one of the display cases. This is the Star Legions in-flight command vehicle. And you guys know that the Legions of Power sets come all with you know sorts of different parts and figures and different things like that. And you can construct them in different modes. Like there's battle mode and travel mode. And you know, di they, the different modes don't use all of the parts, but you need all of the parts to create the different vehicles. So this is the in-flight command in battle mode. I actually added a couple of, of additional guns on the top just to make it look a little bit more um, aggressive. <laughs> this is, these aren't technically a part of the battle mode, but um, the Legions of Power sets, they're, they're pretty cool. They have glow in the dark pieces. Some of them are motorized using batteries. This one does not have a battery compartment, but it's very cool. You can see the figure there in the front. There's a figure there in the rear cockpit got the missile there on the bottom and you know the legions of power they weren't super popular back then but it's a very cool space futuristic line and uh you know my buddy chad is super into these too I, i've hooked him up with a couple of pieces that i found uh for his collection but um i got this for a pretty decent price it doesn't have the box but it's 100 percent complete with the instructions so and the instructions are important if you're going to collect legions of power because you need to know how to put these things together uh, so keep that in mind if you dive into the world of legions of power <laughs> yes cowboys and moon mesa but look at that they got some bubble bath I've never seen those before. That's neat. It's 
some crash test dummies. There's a sealed food fighter back there. Mean weenie. Captain Power. Some girl stuff. Barbie and My Little Pony. G.I. Joe. Figures here. Oh, there's Baroness. Street Fighter. That stuff's kind of hard to find, that Street Fighter 2. That Karate Chopper back there. The Crimson Cruiser. Star Wars. The next item I found was above the display case that had the Cowboys of Moo Mesa and whatnot in it. So this is the Radio Shack Galactic Man. And as you can see, he is very much a Robocop ripoff. Um, even on the back of the box there, you can see if that doesn't look like Robocop, I don't know what does. <laughs> so, you know, I'm kind of into these knockoff figures. I believe this is from around 1992 that these came out. This is the red and gray version. They made a more accurate Robocop looking version that is just all gray. I think he goes for a little bit more. Um, but this guy's complete in the box, has his accessories. And he's just a cool figure. I, I couldn't pass him up for 20 bucks. Um, you know, I know they're not super expensive or rare or valuable, but um, you know, anybody that likes knockoff toys from the late 80s or, or early 90s would probably like to have this galactic man in their collection. scientist stuff Some mash figures crypt keeper power forces that's cool Okay guys, so I am back from the fantastic Renegade Toys in North Lima, Ohio. And I have one more set of toys that I want to show you guys that I picked up. I picked up an incredible lot of Starriers 
figures by Tomy. So these figures had the wind-up mechanisms and you can swap out heads and arms and legs and different accessories. And, but get this, I told Jim, one of the co-owners of the store, that I was looking for Star Ears and he remembered that he had a box of them in his storage unit. And I was there on a Saturday and they were still open on Sunday. I was only going to be in town through Sunday. He actually went back to his storage unit, picked up the box and pieced together this lot of Star Wars figures just so I could have the opportunity to take a look and see if I wanted to purchase them. He gave me an incredible price on the bulk lot of Star Wars figures and I went back the next morning and picked them up. So that's what kind of service you're actually dealing with when you deal with Jim and Walt at Renegade Toys. I was completely blown away by this and you know he didn't have to do that if they weren't in the store they weren't in the store oh, I'll get around to it but no he knew I was only in town for a limited number of days and he went back and put that lot together for me so thank you so much Jim for doing that for me I really appreciate it and you added to my Star Wars collection so anyway let's take a look at these figures so here is this awesome lot of Star Wars figures by Tomy circa 1985 again not a super popular toy line back in the day but i really got interested in this set because i recently picked up the play set down at time traveler toys but i've been really interested in picking up the figures to go along with the play set we'll return after these messages And the lot included Twin Blade, Slice, Crank, Ripsaw, Flash Fist, and this little dude here is called Scrapper. And as I mentioned before, you can take these things apart, you can take off their arms, their heads, and you can do all sorts of fun interchanging modes with these figures. But what's cool is when the wind-up mechanism actually works on these figures. Of course, you know, you're dealing with a 35-year-old figure here, so some of these do not work at this point. But they have this switch here. You can kind of make it out. There's on and off there. And all you have to do, wind it up like so. Turn them around. And again, just switch it to the on position. and your enemies will be drilled. Pretty cool figure. They have another figure like this that's called Gouge uh, with the drill bit on the front, but he's a red figure. And here's Slice. He also works. Now his on and off switch is on his arm. You can see that on and off. Just that. Switch it to the on position. So cool, right? I mean, it's simple, but a fun feature for these action figures. I really like Slice because I like his colors, but I also like his face because it's kind of like an alien grinning robot face. You can see the pilot inside there as well. So that's Slice. Unfortunately, the other ones don't really work that well. Here's Ripsaw. Cool figure. And then in the back here is Flash Fist. He's probably the rarest of the lot. He commands the most money if you want to look at eBay sold listings. Um, he wants to work, but I just cannot, I just can't get it to work right. See? Just goes really slow, like the wind-up mechanism is just about on its last leg. So that's Flash Fist. And then this is Twin Blade. Unfortunately, he doesn't have his actual arms. He has gray arms like his legs. These are actually Ripsaw's arms. 
Um, he must have had a spare rip saw and uh, he couldn't find the, the twin blade arm. So I'm going to look out for twin blades arms. That's twin blade. And then Scrapper here has a simple mechanism where you would just wind him back like this and then he goes. Like a simple, you know, wind up and although he kind of burns out more than actually drives. <laughs> so, so anyway, many thanks to Jim for digging this pile of, of Star Wars figures out for me. So that's it, guys. That was my toy hunting adventure at Renegade Toys in North Lima, Ohio. You can see they have an incredible selection, tons of Transformers and G.I. Joes, all sorts of vintage goodies to get your blood pumping. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to my channel at Reese Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on hunting.